Alpha. Welcome to Muratawa Conservation Camps. Over the next few days, we're going to be taking the Sony Alpha 1 on its first journey through the African bush. Over the last few days, we've experienced thunderstorms, rain, wind, sunshine, and epic lighting. And through all of this, we've also seen some incredible wildlife from zebra and giraffe, elephant and rhino, all the way through to incredible young lion cubs. I wanted to take the Sony Alpha 1 and put it through its paces. How the resolution held up, what the frame rate was like, and how that worked in terms of the new focusing systems that are focusing more than 120 times in a second. The autofocus and the resolution that came out of this camera is just phenomenal. You have these incredible, incredibly sharp shots. The textures are so real that it almost feels like you can feel the lioness for whatever was being shot. ability to pick up eye autofocus even from great distances blew my mind. Life just changed. The thought of having the A92, the A7R4 and the A7S3 all wrapped up into one body is incredible for the wildlife photographer, for any videographer and for the sports photographers around the world. The high frame rate allows us to pick and choose the perfect image, the perfect moment in a sequence of shots. The buffer never runs out even though we're shooting at a massive 50 megapixels. The image quality just blew my mind away and low light it performed as well as any other camera that I've used so far. The durability of the Sony Alpha 1 allows me to concentrate on my art, creating new and different images from what is going on around without having to worry about the weather conditions, whether it be rain, sun or wind. I am able to concentrate on my craft and not worry about my equipment failing on me.